Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2016 action comedy Keanu. A film that was written by Jordan Peele stars Keegan-Michael Kay and Jordan Peele as well as Tiffany Haddish now. Jordan Peele as we know has become synonymous now with um, writing and directing the Get Out movie and he's got the new one coming out this year. Um, but before all that he was more well known obviously for his comedy partnership with um, Keegan-Michael Kay. And this was their first on-screen movie and what an absolutely bonkers concept it is. And this is one that I've been wanting to watch for a while. And this film focuses on these two characters, Clarence and Rel. Uh, Rel has experienced a recent breakup and is pretty down and, and depressed. Um, and um, a cat turns up on his doorstep that he immediately falls in love with and calls it Keanu. Now this cat, as we see at the beginning of the film, was um, belonged to this like criminal drug baron guy who and the uh, the warehouse gets attacked by these guys flipping all over the place shooting the place up matrix style and the cat escapes turns up like say on um on rel jordan peele's doorstep he falls in love with him and everything seems fine and dandy with the world until until his his house gets broken into and the cat gets abducted so along with um, Clarence they both set off on uh, a quest to find his cat Keanu now this cat Keanu seems to have an effect on people whoever um, whoever finds his cat falls in love with it immediately it's almost, it almost puts you under some kind of spell it's the most beautiful cat in the world <laughs> um, and he's, they go on this mission to, to, to get this cat back they go to the local um, place they suspect that the this uh, criminal might be who's taken his cat. They pretend to be who they're not. These underground, you know, criminals. They put on these weird accents and um, in the hope to make a deal to get this cat back. So they have to they have to prove themselves to Method Man's character Cheddar by going off and doing like some drug runs, etc., etc., to try and um, get the cat back. It all spirals out of control as you can imagine and it all goes a bit bonkers and a bit mad right so what did i think of keanu well like i say I, I have been wanting to watch this for a while i missed it at the cinema and it just sounds such a crazy concept and i remember it was quite warmly received when it was released um so i have been quite looking forward to this um and what did i think of it i thought it was okay this film i don't think it was just as good and or as just as clever as it thinks it is um the the comedy stylings of these two guys works really well on screen they're obviously um used to doing this sort of stuff together they're very very funny at times but um i think what i found more f amusing about this film was the situations rather than their comedy stylings at times even though they were funny at times for example you know, while one of them goes into this house, um, which has Anna Faris, where they're doing a drug deal, um, the other one is in the um, station wagon, uh, the people carrier, as we call it in the UK, trying to school the rest of these criminals, the comedy stylings of George Michael. And by the end of it, they're all singing George Michael songs in this car. I mean, it was just bizarre and surreal and very, very funny. Things like that, you know, they turn these hardened criminals and then they, they kind of turn the genre on its head and they just make fun of it all. And I thought it was very subtle and very clever in what they did. Um, the the action was fine for what you would expect in a movie like this. It was, you know, it was nothing outstanding. Two guys, fish out of water type story, trying to get through and trying to survive till the end. It's it's that type of thing, and the kind of um, anxious action from them two that you would see, you would expect to see associated with a film like this. I did find it quite difficult in a sense that, you know, one 
one scene at the beginning Clarence is saying I don't want anything to do with these let's get out of here you know I'm not going to be a criminal you know I've got a wife and I've got a daughter and blah blah blah, blah. and not many you know a good 20-25 minutes later they're bloody shooting up you know the place picking up guns and you know it just seemed a bit of a stretch for me you know they go from um, the whitest black man you've ever seen to like you know urban gangsters almost by the end you know pulling off these swift um, car scenes and swift driving skills etc and one of them can't even drive while he's doing it he doesn't even have a driving license so there, 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 there's, there's an element of disbelief here and you do have to suspend your disbelief while you're watching this it's almost like an extended comedy sketch which is what these two were renowned for really um, there's a great cameo by Keanu Reeves himself which I thought was really clever uh, which I didn't expect um, and I thought it incorporated humour in quite um, unexpected ways at times this film so I've got to say I did enjoy this film I don't think I enjoyed it just as much as I was expecting to um, I do remember it was getting really really good reviews at the time when it came out I don't think it's just as good as maybe some people were making out at the time uh, but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 I did have fun with it it is it is a fun movie to watch with a bit of a bonkers concept certainly for sure I can imagine them writing this thinking this is going to be our first movie they're going to love it um, or they just wrote it to be completely bizarre I don't know but it is it is a funny movie with a great concept um, and yeah but it, it doesn't stand out it's nothing overly special so if you haven't seen Keanu it is certainly worth a watch if you want like a you know a decent action comedy to watch with that's reasonably well made give it a go I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll see you next time on Screen Stars <laughs>